Hey, what's up? My name is Nelson. My name is Michael. And today we are talking about The Batman, Ladies. starring Robert Pattinson and directed by Matt Reeves. Batman ventures into a Gotham City's underworld when a sadistic killer leaves behind a trail of cryptic clues. As the evidence begins to lead closer to home and the scale of the perpetrator's plans become clear, he must forge new relationships, unmask the culprit, and bring justice to the abuse of power and corruption that has long played the metropolis. And first off, I want to say that I have been, I've had a cold for a little bit, so my voice is kind of up and down right now. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't have COVID, I checked, so I hey. got to see Batman. <laughs> hey. But, um... First off, I just want to get it out of the way because this movie is amazing. I'm just going to spoiler alert. This movie's this movie's amazing. I want to get our uh, nitpicks out of the way real quick. Okay. My biggest complaint of this movie is, and it's not really that big of a deal because I understand, but I don't really like how Robert Pattinson, he, he Robert Pattinson, he's amazing. Okay. He's amazing. But I, uh, and I'll get there. But I don't like how he doesn't really act different when he plays the Bruce Wayne part of Batman. I like my Batman to be kind of split. Yeah. You know, have his Batman side and his Bruce Wayne side. And I, I, I'm thinking to myself, if I, I'm, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I'm pretty sure I would put two and two together that he's Batman. Because he acts no different. And that, that, that kind of throughout the movie kind of bugged me just a, just a little, little bit. But, got that. And then also, no, one more nitpick, really. Just one more, and, and that's about it. Or two more, two more. I got two more nitpicks, and that's, that's about it. But, oh, I don't... I, I, I would have loved to see a little bit more of Paul Dano's Riddler. And we'll get to Paul Dano a little more. But I would have liked to see just a bit more of him. I mean, he's the center focus of this movie. Yeah. He is our villain of the movie. Yeah. But we don't get much time with him in this film. And I, I just would like just a little bit more time. Just a little bit. Yeah. But I did get what they were going for. And it was really cool what they did. Mm. But I, I, he just, he's so good. Mm. And I, we'll get there. But, <laughs> um, and then I do feel like this movie, I say this a lot about a lot of movies, but I feel like it should have been rated R. Absolutely. There's nothing wrong with this movie Absolutely. being rated R. This is not for children. They basically do, made it rated R just without the rating. Do not take your kids to this movie. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, I... It's graphic without the Yeah, graphics. I would not take my 13-year-old to see this movie. <laughs> no way. It's too dark. It's, it's just, it's, it's... Too dark. There's killing in it. There's just, there's all this brutal stuff that happens. I mean, Batman is just brutal. Like, yeah, I, <clears throat> I feel about the same thing. Yep, same thing. <laughs> First thing I want to talk about, we're going to get into... All the good stuff now. First thing I want to talk about is, uh, let's talk about Colin Farrow as the Penguin. Oh, yeah. Okay, the dude looked nothing like Colin Farrow. <laughs> nothing. He looked like a penguin. Like, I, I, they, I, they changed his face. He, 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 he can't even tell. He just looked just like Penguin. Yeah. And he, he, he plays that part so well. He, he is basically the, uh, the right hand man to uh, Carmen Falcone, uh, played by John Turturro, and he was really good too as uh, Carmen Falcone. He, he he just basically played the biggest boss, but but yeah, yeah, those two were really really great in the film. Um, and then talk about uh, talk about Alfred, played by uh, Andy Serkis. Go ahead. Um, honestly. Man's got the voice. That's all I gotta say. Alfred always has like a kind of a demanding presence when he walks into a room. But this just one. like just like, you know, Bruce Wayne, but this is different. Like you can tell that this this dude is like ex special forces or something. Like <laughs> he's he's just a badass. Yeah. They, they, a badass. They, they made this but they made this Alfred a lot more He says what's on his mind to Bruce. To try to make him better, you know? All right, so Zoe Kravitz played 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 Catwoman in this movie, and she's Sexy. definitely yeah <laughs> she is definitely the best Catwoman that we've had. Um, yeah, the acting her acting was phenomenal. Yeah, um, 
she definitely portrayed Catwoman uh, more than just like her being sexual towards Batman. Yeah, yeah. And there was barely there was, even any of that. There, there was there that was a little bit. I mean, we got our we get our Catwoman. She yeah. definitely plays Catwoman. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't the prime focus of. There's Catwoman. much more like character. And her and Robert Pattinson together, oh, chemistry. Oh yeah, the chemistry was beautiful. Yeah, I was like, man, these two are amazing together. Yeah. Like, dang. Yeah. But I, I, I can't wait to see more of them. You know. Yeah, I can't in wait. The future. Ready for the next movie already. Um, Let's go now, DC. Now Paul Dano. Yeah, Paul Dano. Um, we'll talk about... Oh, actually, go ahead. I did two. You do two. Uh, next on the list is Paul Dano. He's playing the Riddler. And I must say, phenomenal job. Yeah. Hats like off. I, like I said in the beginning, not enough of him. Mm -hmm. He was so creepy. Mm -hmm. I mean... Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. So creepy. Like, like, without wearing the question mark suit and the everything. Boy, freaking... The voice. The voice that he had. Yeah. He, he he made had like a voice changer in the movie, mm -hmm. but you could still tell it's Paul Dano's voice. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, dude, he just so creepy. Yeah, like I got really really worked for me, and he was a very menacing villain to Batman. Yeah, the power that a nerd has, like, <laughs> like he he was very he was a genius. Yeah, and he just knew he just knew what he was doing, and he just made Batman look bad at times, <laughs> but. But let, let's talk about uh, let's talk about the horror aspects of this movie. It was so scary. It was genuinely terrifying. It, it is. It this is a Thor. It, Thor. This is a horror uh, detective thriller. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And, and it's just all the, especially with the Riddler, all of the horror aspects with the Riddler really, really work for me. Mm -hmm. I love that they show the detective. Like what Batman does to That's find what his Batman, criminals. Batman in the comics is the world's greatest detective. But we've never seen the world's greatest detective in a movie. Yeah, it's always just been the world's greatest badass. Like, yeah, <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. And this really worked. It, it This reminded me of, he's never seen it, but this reminded me of Seven a lot. And I know that's probably, you've been hearing that quite a bit. Because this movie, it's, it, it is a lot like Seven. Definitely took an inspiration, you know. <laughs> Matt Reeves definitely took inspiration from from that but really 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 well done with all the detective stuff just Batman figuring out stuff so much quicker than everybody else too mm. speaking of the detective side with Batman working with uh with Jim Gordon played by Jeffrey Wright he killed this this is the best Jim Gordon we've ever gotten mm -hmm. like like Usually he's Commissioner Gordon, and this one he's not quite Commissioner Gordon yet. There's another Commissioner. Yeah, in the he's movie. still detective. He's still a detective, but him and Batman were so good together. Mm -hmm. Like Robert Pattinson and Jeffrey Wright were so amazing, and he was without a doubt the best uh, Jim Gordon we've ever got. Yeah. Uh, so f like the casting for this movie, it's the best all around. To be it, it is. It is. It, it, it is the best all around casting. For a villain, especially since mm. The Dark Knight. And we're going to definitely, definitely a lot of people are going to compare this to The Dark Knight. This oh, is the yeah. best Batman movie we've yeah. gotten since The Dark Knight. Yeah. You know, anything, yeah. anything. Both I mean, are amazing movies. Both yeah, both are amazing movies. Yeah. But, and it, and, it, and it stands toe to toe with that movie. The entrance of oh. the Batmobile. Sexual. Okay, yes, we all seen the trailers huh. of the Batmobile. But you don't see that Batmobile until you see this film. I mean, yeah. it's entrance. I was like, whoa. Goosebumps? I mean, just total, total chills. Just like every entrance Batman had fighting the bad guys. We'll get there. Goosebumps? This Batmobile, for me, I'm going to go ahead and say it. It is my favorite Batmobile. Hey. It starts up. And you start seeing the flames come out of the back. Yeah. And it's like boom 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 You're just hearing it, hearing it, and like I was like, wow, like this car is perfect. It's sleek and it gets to places. And it's modern too. I mean I I love Batman 1989's, you know, Michael Keaton's, Tim Burton's. It's got the bad wings. It's so cool, but like this this beats it for me. I like muscle cars. This worked for me. This looks like a bunch of muscle cars put together that Robert Pattinson's Batman made. Yeah. You know? And that really, really worked for me a lot. <coughs> uh, what else? <coughs> there, you know how in the Dark Knight movies, uh, 
Christian Bale's Batman made that weird. Oh, I'm Batman. He uh, he he made a different voice. You could tell it was a little different when he was Bruce Wayne mm. and when he was Batman. He made it just a bit different. He didn't make. He didn't do the. Oh, I'm Batman. I'm a pedophile. No, he he all he did was he talked like this as Bruce Wayne, and then talked like this as Batman. Yeah, that was that it. was it. That was it. I love I love how. Going back to Zoe Kravitz's Catwoman, I love how sleek she is, and how she actually moves like a cat. Yeah, very smooth. Yeah, so she's very so smooth. smooth and transitions and stuff, and it's it just looks so cool and and the the action pieces that comes into the action pieces in this movie. Mm. Batman's entrances in these action pieces. I mean, he 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 in the beginning of the movie, you don't see Batman for about ten minutes, and you just hear Robert Pattinson talking. And he's like, he's like, just talking about how everyone fears him and how like you never, they, everyone know, thinks that I'm hiding in the shadows. So that stops crime from happening, even when he's not there. He's like, I can't be at places at all times, but they think I'm there. Mm. And I was like, oh man. And that that first entrance when he fights Penguin's guys. Mm. Oh, oh my gosh. You see it in the trailer. He beats the heck out of that one guy. You know, so good. But he has all these different entrances there's there's a smoke entrance where he's, he just comes out of smoke and you don't see him coming and it's just you could you could feel the fear that these people have because you feel it yourself you're yeah, like I, uh, oh god I'm he's like, coming to get me <laughs> yeah i'm like I'm, I'm afraid he's gonna beat my ass you know <laughs> there's this one i don't want to spoil it because it's amazing right you know that yeah, guy yeah, 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 so good <laughs> but um the ending of this movie it's just i'm we're not gonna get into it because it's just don't want to spoil anything, but <laughs> oh my gosh. The ending is so perfect. What happens? What goes on with the Riddler and Batman is just amazing. Mm. Any like final thoughts? Final thoughts. Oh yeah, so final thoughts. Um all in all, the movie's low key a masterpiece. Not perfect, but a masterpiece. No, no like I said, I have my little bit uh -huh. of nitpicks. Yep. It doesn't even really matter right. to me. Really? Yeah. Based off enjoyability alone, the movie is a straight 100%. Oh, enjoyability, yeah. Three hours long feels like five minutes. It's like Endgame all over again. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It was. But I just love the grittiness of this movie mm -hmm. and just how grounded it is. I like how they kept the DC darkness, but they also did make it a little brighter. Yeah. They added some beautiful tones to it. Oh, yeah. The movie looks beautiful cinematography-wise. Yeah. Yeah. The shots... The score. The score. Phenomenal. Beautiful score. I'm glad I remembered it. Yeah. Holy fuck. Phenomenal. But the score is just so, so beautiful. It's just like the music that they use. They use that Nirvana song we always hear in the trailer. They use that at the beginning and they use it actually at the end too. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's perfect. You just hear that guitar. And throughout the score you hear like tiny little, yeah, uh, like acoustic guitar beats yeah. and it really works for the score. Yeah. But, uh, all in all, it's a very basic score, but it works very yeah, it well. It works so well. But, yes, this overall, this was an amazing, amazing time in the theaters. What a great time to be alive just to see this movie. Facts. Like, this is the best Batman we've ever gotten. Facts. Second best Batman movie for me. I can't help it. I love The Dark Knight. Yeah. It's just Dark Knight's, like, my fourth favorite movie of all time. <laughs> my favorite comic book movie of all time. It just nothing can beat it. With Heath Ledger playing the Joker and everything, mm. but Paul Dano's the second best to ever play any Batman villain, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like. I mean, yeah. you got your Jack Nicholson playing the Joker, too, and that was really amazing, but yeah, this is just, wow. And then the Catwoman, best Catwoman we've ever gotten, yeah. best Batman we've ever gotten, yeah. definitely best Little Riddler. No offense, Jim Carrey, yours was awesome. Amazing, too much like the Joker. <laughs> yeah, a lot, too much like the Joker, all of those Batmans kind of tried to mimic Jack Nicholson back in the day, so you got to give it that. But true, true. but um, for my score, I'm gonna give it a 98 percent. Is the first time we've ever agreed on anything. 98 <laughs> percent. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, like and subscribe. Follow me on. Follow me on Instagram at Nelson Reviews. Follow me on Letterbox at Nelson48. Follow me on Instagram at uh, Michael Raven C. And then follow me on Letterbox at SheGokai. Peace out.